Saturday the 26th. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a fabulous Thanksgiving. We had a time, honey. I didn't even turn the camera on. I should have, but I did not. I mean, we hosted for my husband's entire family. So when I tell y'all I was busy and all types of tired, I, I, I cannot even put it into words. Like I hurt from head to toe, head to toe. And so I stayed in bed most of Friday. I didn't do no Black Friday shopping whatsoever because y'all already know our children, our youngest is 20. So we will not be doing all of that. We're not going to do all that. They're going to get some cash and they're going to be blessed to get that. So yes, I'm probably going to do some Cyber Monday shopping, but I did not do anything for Black Friday. It is Saturday. I have started decking the halls and it will continue today. So today will be Operation Deck the Halls. Okay, so I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday and uh, yeah, let the crazy and the rush begin. Um, I am about to whip up some breakfast for everyone and then we are going to decorate we're gonna finish decorating you guys i plan to be done because i have one two three four i have put up four trees four full-size trees and they are decorated and ready to go um my husband said he doesn't want his falcon tree up this year so guess what we're not gonna put up the falcon tree we're just not gonna do it so um, yeah, I'm going to make breakfast and then I'll come back and we are going to start decorating. Happy Saturday. I am like super shiny, y'all. I know I'm not looking directly in the camera because I'm trying to see why I'm so shiny, but okay, so it is time to take down the fall decor on the porch. And you guys, it's a beautiful day. I'm hoping the chipmunk is not out here because honey, he likes to come out when it's nice. Um, but the first thing I need to do, my husband said we did not have an Amazon package out here, but he must have not seen it because it is out here. But the first thing that I need to do is get rid of the fall decor that is out here. I have not done a thing. The moms are, are dead. And yeah, I'm going to clear it off. He stepped out to go to Home Depot. And y'all already know he's my help. So we're going to get this cleared up. And it is going to be Operation Christmas Decor out here. We decking the halls, y'all. Okay, here's what we're looking like, you guys. We got the porch pretty much cleaned off. Everything is gone from the door. I am going to put a coat of paint on my lanterns because as y'all can see, they're starting to fade a little bit and they just need a facelift and they'll be in great condition. Those are from Pottery Barn that I got years ago. Wait a minute. Pier 1, not Pottery Barn, Pier 1. Okay, so we are pretty much done. Everything is a blank canvas. And now it's just time to get it going. Santa's little helper is over there. And he is helping us out. He's helping us bring some holiday cheer. <laughs> Ain't that right, Santa's hey, helper? You said little helper? I I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> He's okay with little helper. Yep. So here's the beginning and of course we're going to show you guys the whole process of trying to get it together and our neighbors are down there getting theirs together too. They're putting theirs up <laughs> and so we're putting ours up and just trying to do something because baby is real sad right now but we're going to get it together. Ain't that right baby? That's right baby. We got, wait can you see us? Can you see us? No, 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 no. Turn this way. Turn your high self this way. We gonna get it together, ain't we, baby? Yep. <laughs> we gonna get it together, y'all. He my little, my little helper today. Yep. We Thank got you. it. Thank you. 
We working, we working, and we only got a little time left because y'all know at 5 30 the sun clocks out and don't clock back in until 7 a.m. So we got to get it. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One. All right. If I'm looking shiny and sweaty, it's because I am. And it was, baby, it was some work getting everything out of the storage room. Okay, so for the most part, it's all done. I even found my little Mickey ears, y'all. <laughs> my little Mickey Christmas ears. But let me show you guys what the entryway is looking like. Since we're working on that, it's just all over the place, okay? All over the place. So here we go. Here's what we're looking like. Um, this is two mini trees, a wreath, and some garland. Pre-lit, battery-operated. I had this from a collaboration I did with King of Christmas about three years ago, okay? And then we got wreaths everywhere. Here is my um, my rugs. You, you guys know I love to layer. So the red and green came from Kirkland's two years ago and it's still in really good condition. And the mat that says, um, I think it says have a holly jolly Christmas. I can't remember what's Santa on it. That came from Joanne's last year. And then of course I have more wreaths, more wreaths, more wreaths. This uh, is three faux poinsettias that I may use outside because I'm not really doing red this year. You guys know that. So I will probably put that out on the porch as well. Now that the door is black, um, I can put this red um, wreath on the door is what I think I'm going to do. And then this comfort and joy sign um, I got on clearance last year. And I think I'm just going to hang it um, next to the front door on the porch. I have a little hook right there that I usually put a sign on. I'm either going to do this comfort and joy or I'm going to do this farm fresh. Sorry, it's upside down and I don't want to spin it because it broke. And I don't want these nails to scratch my table. But I can hot glue this back on, you guys. It fell when it was real windy out last year. But again, it could be salvaged. So I'm going to try to do that. But it um, just says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. Um, so I'm either going to do this sign once I glue it. Or I'm going to do this sign. I might do the Comfort and Joy. I think it's super cute for the porch. It works for the porch, okay? And you guys, let me show you guys this wreath that I got today from Sam's Club. You guys, it is a fresh cut wreath. Yes, girl. That's what I said. It is fresh. It smells incredible. I love these little hints of the berries and the pine cones on there. And you guys, this wreath was only $19.00 at Sam's Club. $19. Amazing. Because we went in there on Wednesday to get some last minute Thanksgiving things and I picked up one wreath. I got it home. I was in love with it. It started smelling fantastic in our home and I was like, why didn't I get two? So guess what I did? I went back today and grabbed another one. You cannot beat it. $19. It's not supposed to be in direct sunlight or you guys know it'll dry up and it'll be dead within days. So put it somewhere as cool as possible and shady and just spritz it with a water bottle. And it is so nice y'all. It is beautiful. And it's the smell for me incredible so check your sam's club okay it they definitely had not as many as when i was there on wednesday but they still have several left at my store this morning
something wrong. Okay, you guys. Look at him. Look how handsome he is. I'm sorry the television is up so loud, but he's been sitting in our garage. And, well, he's been sitting in our garage for two months. I think we got him back in October. And I could not wait to get him out the box, make sure he worked. I'm so happy that he does. Because there ain't no way we can take him back to Sam's Club at this point. But I am in love with him. I'm in love with him, you guys. He is six feet tall. So, yep, he's taller than I am. And most of you are. And I think he is adorable. Look at his little packages. Look at his little packages. It's the details for me. How cute is he? And I cannot wait to put him on the porch. But since we busted him open already, I had to show you guys. And uh, guess what? We don't only have one, but we have two. His brother is already out on the porch. Oh, I can't wait to see how they're going to look. All done up with everything out there. Cannot wait. But I had to show you guys. Stay tuned. Operation Deck the Porch continues tomorrow. Good morning, family. Happy Monday. Uh, yeah, it's feeling very Monday-ish after a long weekend. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, I am still working on the porch. As you guys can see, I got the little mini trees right here and I'm just trying to, you know, judge them up a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys what um, I've done so far out there. It definitely still needs some work, um, but it's going to come together, okay? Um, as always, you guys know to just disregard how crazy I'm looking in this hair, but you guys know it's Monday, so it's very Monday-ish, and it's super windy, you guys. It, it does not want me to be great with my holiday decor. I'm trying to be great. Okay, so let me show you guys, turn this around, look what I got out here, look at him, I showed you guys earlier but he is out on the porch and it's not only him but he has a brother, a twin brother, you guys I wanted these so bad last year and they were completely out like i said it's super windy so it's been blowing his little shopping bags super adorable people Get his little shopping bags honey he ready okay he ready too and so here they are so my question is though you guys i don't think i want to keep them right here i think i want to move them I think I want to move them to right here, like at the beginning of the porch, here and here. Because our porch is not even, if you guys didn't notice that, like there's more room over on this side of the porch than it is on this side of the porch. So you can't see them equally from the street. And I don't like that because they the stars of the show as far as I'm concerned. So I think I'm going to try them right here and here. And we're going to see how we like that, okay? And they're heavy. So y'all pray for me because William is at work and I need him to move them. But I'm too impatient. I want to move them now. So we'll see.
Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time Wait, y'all, don't y'all like them better up here? Cause baby, they is front and center And that's why I want them, they the stars of the show You know? So I think we're gonna go with this and plus, I need room for my trees back there, my lanterns. So we're going to see. I think I like this better. What y'all think? Okay, so I wanted to show you guys um, something that I do. I try to do every year. We've definitely done it the last three years that we've been in our home. And this past November made four years. So I didn't do it the first year but I have been doing it every year since then. And that is putting out uh, little snacks for our delivery drivers. Listen, you guys, they work hard year round and especially during the holidays. And Lord knows that they are at this house several times a week <laughs> bringing a delivery. So I felt like the least we could do is thank them for their hard work. And it's just a small gesture, you know, just to say we appreciate you and happy holidays. So here is the sign that I use. You guys can see that, hopefully you can. And it's basically a little thank you for them saying basically what I said, we appreciate you. And thank you so much for delivering our many, many, many <laughs> packages. We know it's a super busy time of the year for you, so please take a snack and a drink as a small token of our great appreciation for all that you do. Merry Christmas. And so I'll put this out for them. And then let me show you guys. I'm going to take you off of here. Show you guys what I put out for them, okay? And here it is, right here. Let me move my tripod out of the way. If y'all could see the catastrophe that is my house right now, but anyway, I want to show you guys. So, y'all, these are just you know a few snacks that we put out for them, just for them to kind of choose what they want. You know, I have water coke and sprite and then i put out some granola bars and pop tarts candy bars and some chips so yeah here it is right here and so it's just a little token to say thank you and i just keep an eye on it and you guys it's so funny since we have a ring doorbell we get to see their reactions to the snacks and when i tell y'all they are so grateful for those snacks it is amazing okay like it's just a small gesture and let me turn y'all back around sorry about that <laughs> let me turn y'all back around and the thing is oh gosh I'm looking so crazy the thing is we don't really go out of our way or out of our budget to buy snacks because if you're new here my husband does the Sam's runs most of the time, like I'm with him very little. He goes 95, 99% of the time. And if you've ever sent your husband to any grocery store, you know that they're gonna pick up a lot of snacks, at least mine does. So when I tell you we stay loaded with snacks, y'all, we stay loaded with snacks, like to the point of this just ridiculous sir you cannot go to sam's anymore and buy any snacks so honestly the only thing we had to buy this past weekend for snacks are the chips we had all the granola bars the pop tarts we keep the drinks loaded up i, I mean let me, let, let, hold please i'm going to show you guys what i mean okay i'm going to show y'all what i mean now let me tell y'all right now don't y'all judge me and this pantry, do you understand me? I don't want this a no judgment zone, okay? But I want y'all to see the amount of snacks that are in this pantry, okay? So when the holidays roll around, I am more than thrilled to give it and share it with the delivery guys, okay? Once again, it ain't organized. It's looking a hot mess right now, but I just want y'all to see this. I can't make this up. 
This ain't this ain't planned. This is just impromptu. Okay, so here we go. Turn y'all around so y'all can see what I mean. Okay, first of all, we may have a slight obsession with cereal. We might. I told him, please do not buy any more cereal. We good. We good on cereal right now, okay? So we got a few little condiments, but let's take a look here. Granola bars. More than we will probably eat this year, and they expire in December. Okay, focus. There you go. So we got granola bars and Nutri-Grain bars. Plenty of them. Let us not even discuss the chip situation. That is all over the place right now. Okay? This is just being so totally vulnerable right now. Okay, and then down here... We ain't even going to talk about the Oreos right now, but we have plenty other granola bars. Enough to feed the entire block. I didn't even put out the little miniature candy right here. I didn't even put out the little miniature candy. But we got plenty, okay? We got plenty. And then, okay, so here's the water. So we got plenty of water on the floor right there. And look how many popped hearts are left okay like y'all I don't I can't make this up okay we have so much and yes this is going to be one of my new year organizations but you guys when COVID hit like my pantry has not been the same since the C word hit okay it's just been, you know, we, we stocked up where we could and then all organization went out the window. Okay. Uh, I'm just... I, I, I'm just trying to, trying to tell y'all that we have plenty to share with the drivers. So this is just a way to get some of these snacks out of this house for one. Because y'all know at the beginning of the year, we ain't going to be eating none of this. Except maybe a few granola bars and Nutri-Grain bars. Other than that, all the junk has got to go. So I really just feel like this is a great time to just be giving. So I say all that to say, if y'all can put something out for them, put something out for them. Don't forget your drivers and stuff this holiday season. And if it could be small, it could be the smallest of gestures. But if you don't have it, sis, I am not judging. You do what you can, but don't put yourself in a bind because we all know that inflation right now is outrageous. All the groceries cost twice as much as what they cost this time last year. So I just wanted to show that to you guys because I am about to put that out on the porch. And this little cart, this little cart came from Amazon. Little cart, I mean, and today, as you guys are watching this, okay, focus. Today is Cyber Monday. So this one was, it was dirt cheap for Cyber Monday. I want to say it was like $15 or something like that. Simple, easy. I put it out. They take what they want and life is good. So yeah, there you go. I've been trying to show you out this porch for a whole week now. The weather has been horrible here. It's been foggy and rainy for over a week. But I need this video to go up, so we can't wait no longer. So I'm about to show you guys the finished porch. And now there's a helicopter or something flying over here. But I digress. We're gonna I'm showing y'all this porch ready or not, okay? So hold on tight one moment, please. <laughs> Why, Lord? <laughs> Y'all just don't know the amount of stick to itness it takes for me to do this. Because, baby, it'd be so many things trying to stop me from being great. But are y'all ready to see the porch? Okay. Here it is. Here it is, you guys. This is the finished porch. I know I said I was going to keep the nutcrackers up front. But my husband was like, if you get a big boy trying to deliver something in here 
and he breaks something delivering your packages and he trying to squeeze in between them nutcrackers <laughs> it will not be good i don't think you should leave them up there so i said okay fine so i put them back toward the back you guys they still look great from there we are just gonna let them be great from right where they are i just pulled the um lanterns up forward as you guys can see and put some red bows on them so they can look nice and festive and then i um i just kept the little trees here i put some ribbon on them they do light up at night so it's that's really all that they needed of course we got our snacks out for the delivery and postal workers they love it they've already been hitting it and yes i'm so happy that they're enjoying it and i usually keep that up through the new year, you guys. And if anybody's wondering where I got the sign from, I don't know if I told you guys in the other clip, but it's on Pinterest. Just Google uh, snacks for postal workers. It's all types of, there's different ones. They'll all come up, okay? And then of course, the two stars of the show. Here they are. I need a name for them, y'all. I need a name for them. They, they can't just be the Nutcrackers. I need y'all to help me with the name. I've asked the kids to help me with the name. They haven't come up with anything. So can y'all help me with the name for them? Because, I mean, they can't. They can't just be the Nutcrackers, okay? They're too fabulous for that. And it's the details for me, you guys. Look at their bags. I need to put some bricks or something in their bags because it was windy the other day and their bags flew off and we can't have that. Of course, the black door. And since the door is black, I just went with a all um, holly berry wreath. Just kept it real simple because again, with the nutcrackers and everything else going on on the porch, I just didn't want it to be too busy. Okay. And of course, there's the rug and all that good stuff. What do y'all think? I posted a reel on Instagram yesterday, you guys, from the porch. And in less than 24 hours, it has almost 18,000 views on it, which is crazy to me. So y'all already know I want to know what y'all think about the porch. I will show you guys the whole house, but y'all know, you know, for privacy's sake, we're not going to do that. But there's a wreath on every window of the house. I mean, we, we that house on, on the block. <laughs> we are definitely that house. So y'all tell me what y'all think about the porch. And give me a name for the boys. It's like, I want y'all to be able to see their, um, you know, their uniform and stuff, y'all. It's like, it's, it's, it's the details are everything. Uh, everything and of course representation matters so y'all already know and look at the back of his uniform do y'all see his little pouch has a candy cane on it it is all i mean they they nailed it with everything with the bags with his uniform he is the perfect shade of brown <laughs> so yeah so you guys that is it i think i'm going to end the vlog here i am just making some spaghetti for dinner something very simple very easy and we're gonna have dinner and i am going to edit this vlog that you are watching right now i still have another decorate with me um for the dining room and entryway that will probably be hopefully sundays sunday's video and then I cannot wait to show you guys the family room with the big, the big tree. I, I love, love, love the way she turned out. And yes, I can't wait to share it all with you guys. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for those two videos. But yeah, if you're new here, my name is Felicia. I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become a member of the Felicia Marie family. Would love to have you. Um, but let's talk about it in the comments, you guys. What do you guys think about the porch? Throw out some names. And yeah, we will go from there. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.
Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas 